My name is Linda Irvin King. I am from the Confederated and Salish and Kootenai tribe. I have been beading probably about 60 years. I'm 68. I started when I was really young. I bead, my daughter beads, and my grandson beads, and my great-grandson is starting to bead. Well, I had a few aunts that did a lot of bead work, and just the desire to do it. And, and sometimes a piece I don't want to put down until it gets finished, and I can't do it because it's getting later and later, and I'm getting tired. And so, yeah, I beat on it <laughs> when I'm sleeping in my dreams. My baskets, I think, are more personal to me. Yeah, the beadwork, I, I could make another one. I know I could make another basket, but it's going to take nine months of my life. So most of my baskets are all natural materials. I've only been weaving for roughly four years. Um, I've had some really wonderful teachers from all over the world. I took a visit out to Albuquerque with my daughter, and we just had a really wonderful day out in the desert. Some of the things that bring me joy, of course, are my Iayas and my Tupias and all of those young people. I enjoy giving the work a lot and gifting my knowledge of beadwork, weaving, making regalia. Not everybody has opportunity or access to a lot of those kinds of things. And I guess that's what makes me the happiest, is to be able to do them and to be able to share them. And hopefully we'll be able to do more in the future. And that's why it's very important to be wearing masks to protect yourself, your tupias, your yayas, your kanas. It not only protects you, but it protects everyone around you 